Uh, Elizabeth Kiku, thank you for coming to WPC TV. You are a former Minister of Justice and now, of course, President of the Foreign Affairs Committee in the Assemblée Nationale. You've just been in a session about Brexit. And one of the questions was, you know, is Brexit a wake-up call for the European Union? If so, how should the EU react? Well, I hope it's a wake-up call uh, because it, it's uh, absolutely tragic, this uh, decision. Of course, we respect it, naturally. It's the decision of the majority of the British people. Uh, but we deplore it because it, uh, it is a shock. Uh, more certainly, I think, for the UK than for the European Union, but nevertheless. And, uh, and we have to try to overcome this shock as, uh, as well as possible. My, uh, my view is that um, we should start uh, the exit negotiations as uh, quickly as we can, certainly not later than uh, March uh, 2017 as was announced by Mrs. May, uh, because we have, uh, they, they will have to be completed in two years' time, and we have uh, 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 European elections in June 2019, so uh, we don't have to lose time. Uh, I think that we have to be very clear in the negotiations that we, ha we want to reach the best uh, possible compromise, of course, a cooperation agreement, but not at the expense of the European Union, not at the expense of the integrity of the uh, uh, single market. And this means, not, uh, uh, this means respecting the four freedoms, including freedom of movement. And uh, of course, we have to be very clear on that. We have been. Do you think there is any room for compromise or not? I don't think so. Uh, as, you, as you see, the Europeans are united. The Eastern countries who have a lot of doubts as well yeah. on the European Union for other reasons are very committed to that. Yeah. And uh, they know, uh, uh, of course, as well, that they are the main beneficiaries of the structural funds. So uh, they have a vested interest you know, in uh, keeping this unity. I hope it will last, of course. Well, a final question then. After the shock of Brexit, after Trump in the United States, if you look at the European Union and its future, are you more optimistic or pessimistic? I don't know. It, it, it will remain. <laughs> Jean Monnet said, uh, I am determined, you know, not, neither pessimistic nor optimistic. I think we've, we've got to stick to that. It will depend on what we Europeans do about that. If we strengthen the European Union, if we develop a foreign, a common foreign uh, policy, which is, uh, doesn't exist at the moment, uh, if, we have, if we are more engaged on our uh, defense, uh, with NATO, of course, uh, if we tackle uh, commonly the, the, the question of migration, uh, without closing, you know, we, we have to, con to, to enforce the control on our borders, but at the same time, to make sure that mobility mm -hmm. uh, can still exist between the north and the south with Africa and with the eastern uh, countries. So we have a lot of challenges. But if we, if we have, again, the uh, spirit that, was, uh, that existed uh, you know, in, in previous years, years uh, of that we, if we tackle these objectives commonly, and I think we can stray. It, those two shocks can be uh, opportunities uh, to strengthen our well, European I certainly Union. hope so. Those are lots of ifs, but we keep our fingers crossed. Elizabeth Kiku, thank you so much for being on thank WPC you. TV.